many landforms I see there. Stay tuned and all will be revealed. Well, good evening everyone and welcome back to Piccadilly. As you can see, I've got the view of Dinting just there. So we'll close up on a class 350 coming round and I'll pan you round. And as you can see now, all of the work on the viaduct is now complete. Um, well, bar, from, bar the scenery sections. So you've seen all this. Um, so there's no point in me dwelling on that and you've seen this section and the one corresponding the other side but you haven't seen these bits now what I've done basically is to give the impression that the viaduct goes off into the distance that's the whole point and you've got this like focal point of these two sections here and that sort of hopefully leads your eye into that section where the trains coming through and as is right on cue there's a pendolino coming out there so that's the idea now I originally had two arches in there but um, I put it in there thinking oh yeah there'll be plenty of room and then I thought I'll try the class 800 going into uh, platform 13 of Piccadilly station on that line there and the Class 800 coaches are the longest ones I have, and it fouled. So I had a decision. So I had to cut this out and then print another section of girder to go in there. I think it looks all right. It's quite considerably longer than that side. But nevertheless, this here is a separate zone. And what will happen... Um, as and when I get round to it, is this will all be banked up and this section here will be covered. All of that will be covered and effectively, I'm not going to put a tunnel in as such, but these will disappear behind trees because this will be the Millennium Walk coming round here. And so there are tons of trees all up here and obviously you've got New Mills Town. Um, so it'll be a representation of that sort of as a bit of a backdrop so to speak and then smothered in trees um so the tra the train on this line will just disappear behind the trees and you won't notice it again until it comes out over there okay right so going back to the viaduct then excuse my finger getting in the way um i had a problem obviously posing a wall inside here because obviously it wasn't sufficient so what i did was i used one of the viaduct sections um, which I decided not to use and that's sitting perfectly in there just to sort of um, tie that all section together okay now going over to this bit and it will be banked I've decided I'm going to go with a grassy bank um, overgrown head um, lots of well, a few trees on there lots of brambles that sort of thing and build it up that way and this section is removable um, done deliberately just in case there is a problem with the track and um, I need to get at it quite quickly so as I said here I've got to add a bit more to the painting and um, you know I just a bit more of this going sort of diagonally over there just to hide, hide that corner and bring it up and I think it will work quite well um, so it should be all right. I've checked trains going through the entrances with a class 800 anyway, and it seems to go through absolutely fine. So this video is all about starting the scenery. Right, everywhere seems to be looking a mess again, but <laughs> that's the way it goes. Now, so what you can see is that obviously I'll put this section in and I've put another piece at the back. Now, you might be thinking, well, why? Why have I not just glued it to the back scene? 
um, it's because I want it to be a lift out section. So therefore it needs a back and a front. And when all this has gone off, I'm going to lift it. Um, and I'll show you this, but, and then make a base for it as well. So it'll actually keep it compact. Um, so that's it. I've just got to leave it now to dry. And um, then hopefully once that's gone off, then we can start thinking about cutting out this shape um, for the actual hill formation. And then I shall put some kind of lip in here and then tape over there. The lip will be for the tape to bond to. So I get an even line going all the way along the inside of that. But uh, anyway, it's leave it for now and I'll catch you shortly. Right, so that's the first section done. Um, it does need a little bit more reinforcement, but I'm going to wait until I've got the base on before I do that. Um, it's basically structured now. Um, it does need a bit of strength, like I said. Now, next stage then is to create the base. Now, one of the things I want to do is to have a bank coming down between the two um, viaducts, if you like. Now, the only way I can sensibly do that is to build it as part of this one. So if I do have to lift this out, this the bank will come with it. And I am going to leave it so it's slightly in front of this one um, for obvious reasons, because it would wedge itself in there and I wouldn't be able to get it out at all. But if I do need to, well, to remove the back scene and to be able to get at Fairfield Street... Or for whatever reason it might be, um, I've got to have access. And besides, going round the corner there, you're not going to notice that it's not actually attached to this. So I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue, to be honest. But all I've done here is I've taken some A3 paper and literally squashed it into the edges, drew a line. And you can see now I've basically got a shape, which I can now cut out and then create that in card. Speak to you in a second. All right, you might be wondering what's going on here. Um, the reason I've cut the base out, as you can see, just down here. Now I've got to glue that into there and I don't want it sticking to this or to this bridge. So by putting the plastic on, it will obviously protect both. Now I am gonna initially hot glue it in, um, purely because um, I need to push the bridge in. Um, it's sticking a little bit forward here, and if that carries on, that will cause the trains to foul. So I've got to be careful of that. So what I'm gonna do is put a bit of glue, hot glue this is, around the back edge there, and a little bit at the front here um, where the model is. I'll have to mark it with a pencil where to put the glue um, and then stick it down and then go back in with PVA afterwards and some tape around the back, that type of thing. And um, I'll show you shortly. Right, so that bit is done. And you may also notice this section here, which I'll slide out. You might remember I said about having a grass bank coming down between the two uh, viaducts. So what I'll do is I'll put some masking tape over that. Um, just to show you a bit more closely, um, it is two pieces of two mil grey board. Then you've got these dividing sections here. And I've put in a piece that way just to give it a bit more rigidity but that is literally hot glued together. It doesn't matter what it looks like because at the end of the day, it's gonna get covered over. And um, many people use many different types of scenery uh, methods. Some use Celotex or foam, polystyrene, uh, plaster bandage, chicken wire, card. It doesn't matter what you do. Um, at the end of the day, it's what you do on the top. That's what, um, that's what people see. Um, so I think that will look fine in there and obviously it stops short of the tracks and I'll mould it on this side. I will mould it into the arches as well so it gives the, because obviously grass doesn't go <laughs> just and leave a gap. Um, so that hopefully should look quite nice and I can put some trees or one or two trees up here and down this area here as well.
Right, so there we are. So that's the next stage done. So I put um, masking tape, or I created, I stuck a piece of card inside there, just little slithers all the way along inside there, and then lined it out with masking tape. So I stuck that to the lip that I just created and then folded it over, folded it over, and I put about three layers of masking tape, one on top of the other. Same thing about there. And then obviously you can see that it's now been papier mache with about five layers. Now, I've only just done that, hence you can probably see it's quite shiny. So that just needs to dry. But um, I don't think it'll take very long, maybe an hour, a couple of hours, and that'll be solid, I think. So um, once that's done, then it'll be a case of painting these top surfaces uh, with a brown colour. And then these edges here and around the back, black so that um, those parts are less visible um, because there's a possibility you might see this edge and I don't want it noticed so painting it black is going to eliminate that. Okay so I'll show you when that's all done. Right so that's the section finished prior to flocking and um, actual scenery. I'll just give you a little look at that and uh, that's solid now. You can see there and I've put those tunnel bits on inside there those warly bits now the back it literally looks like that so it's a bit of a mess but at the end of the day it's functional it does what it's supposed to do and your two end your two tunnels are kind of there all right so the trains come through these two parts here but that's all painted black on the back just in case it is noticed okay so next time you see that it will be on the layout but in the meantime you'll notice that i've got a minor problem here so what i'm going to do about that is stick some uh, masking tape over it now it's all very well on these sections here as long as there's no loose bits it should stick nicely here and here but not quite so well there or there so what I'm going to do is just put a dob of glue on that so if I ever need to separate the boards then it'll be really easy to cut okay catch you shortly like that so the next job I need to do is to start screwing up some A4 paper and then covering it in masking tape. Right, so that's that first bit done then. So as I said, screwed up paper covered in masking tape. Now the next job is to cover it in strips of paper with glue. There we go then. So you can see now all the scenery has now been papier mache And as you can probably tell, I've only just finished it, so it needs to dry. That could take an hour or so in this um, wonderful heat that we're having. I love it. Um, but on the other hand, it may take a bit longer. If I can get it painted in the same way as I've done that um, before the um, sort of deadline, if you like, then I will. If not, then it'll be in the next video with the greenery adding. So I just wanted to show you this bit um, in the sense that I've put these two pillars in the middle of the viaduct now. And originally they were here. You might think, well, why? Um, the reason being is because on the real viaduct, they, these are there for two reasons. One, because there is a road going through Dinting Vale and you can go on Google Earth and actually go on Street View and go through that road and look up at these pillars. Uh, the other one is a little river. Um, I don't know what the river's called. I can't remember. I'll have to look it up. But uh, that's what I've decided to do. Now, Obviously, I can't just have a river going straight through there because obviously I've got the main line there. So you can see I've got the pipe in the distance there. And the idea being is that the water will then go down through the pipe and then carry on until it reaches level ground again and then come out and continue above the surface. So I thought that was a hopefully a nice little neat, neat solution and sort of give nod to the fact that there was or is a river actually there. It probably doesn't look anything like this, but obviously 
there's nothing nothing to go by here this is totally different to what's there because obviously the real thing this is way open countryside both sides so you know miles and miles and miles of countryside well I haven't got that on this layout so I have to make do with the best I've got so it is my variant and uh yeah I'm hoping that um um and get some resin pour to go in there and I'll fill it so that it goes it's sort of halfway up the pipe as well which could look quite nice so we'll see right so um anyway this afternoon I went to Ting's um I'm not going to tell you anything about that now um because that's in the future for me <laughs> but uh anyway I'll see you again very very soon here on Piccadilly take care of yourself bye for now